with this unseasonably warm weather that's been around lately. Well, ice cream, it doesn't sound half that bad, does it? We're not talking about any ordinary ice cream. And we've got Carl Nelson from the Imagination Station around. And anytime we bring Carl in, we know we're talking science. Carl, good morning to you. Morning. Yeah, so we're going to make ice cream a batch of it in about two minutes, okay. or less than two minutes, by using liquid nitrogen. Self-serve ice cream. I like this. Liquid nitrogen, all right, to set the stage right here, this stuff is super, super cold, isn't it? It is 320 degrees below zero. And in fact, if you look at that right there, what does it look like it's It doing? looks like it's boiling, like, like a exactly. pot of boiling water, doesn't That's it? That's exactly what it's doing, because boiling simply means it's changing from a liquid to a gas. Even though it's 320 degrees below zero, it's really? boiling changing from a liquid to a gas. Now we can use the fact that it's very, very cold to form our ice cream quickly, and the fact that it's boiling, changing into a gas, will allow us to sort of create a light, fluffy ice cream. All right? That is super cool. So, so we, we've got a very cold substance here, the, the pure liquid nitrogen. Use that to cool what to make ice cream? You've got the beginnings of it right over here. Okay. You've got two cups of heavy whipping cream. So go ahead and add those to the bowl. Okay, heavy whipping cream. Already These two cups right here. here? Yep, just okay. dump them right in. Now this is, Admittedly, not a low-fat nor low-calorie <laughs> hey, ice cream mixture. It doesn't have to be. That's why it's going to taste so it's good. It's going to be tasty. Though. All right. So two cups heavy whipping cream. Two cups are in. One cup whole milk. Okay, one cup of whole milk. And you notice we're adding lots of stuff with lots of fat in it. The fat's going to make it very nice and creamy. Okay. Now I've got my some of my ingredients over here. I've got uh, a, we're going to do a dash of sugar. Okay. So that's about um, a, a typical dash of sugar. It's about one cup of sugar. Okay. You know, all the kids are at home watching now because they're not they're on winter break. So they're thinking, OK, heavy whipping cream sugar. This is the makings of a good treat here. Absolutely. And you can do this at home, even if you don't have the liquid nitrogen. Okay. If you take this basic mixture, the whipping cream, the milk, the sugar and a dash of vanilla, you have the basic recipe for ice cream. Okay. Get a big Ziploc bag, fill it with ice and salt. Okay. Salt will lower the freezing point of the ice. Take another small Ziploc bag and put this mixture in it. Very okay. cool. And then just squish it around for about 10 minutes. You might want to wear gloves. Now, in, in case people are curious, you guys actually have that recipe to make this ice cream at home on your website, so you can check that out and they can get the information from that. Back to the science with fun stuff, liquid nitrogen here. Right. So we mix all this stuff up. You need assistance there? I do. I need you to okay. keep whipping that up because we want the sugar to dissolve into the mixture. And while you're doing that, I am going to... I'm going to slow down a bit there. I'm going to add some nitrogen here. We don't want it to splash on your hands. Okay. In fact, go ahead and stop mixing for a second. Let it kind of let us sit there. A you little Halloween that, experiment, too. This almost is, hear that this is cool. sizzling. Now gently add that in. Punch it down in there. Punch it down in. Get a little more vigorous with it. See all those nice ice crystals coming out that are formed from the moisture in the air, right? Just like when you blow your breath out yeah. on a cold day. Okay. Let's see here. How are we gonna, looking? Well, we're still a little liquidy, so we're going to really dump in a, quite a bit more nitrogen. Go okay. ahead and pull your hand out there for a second. We want to get this feel the, very, the, very cold. The, the chilly coolness coming off of it. Well, 320 degrees below zero, that's, uh, that's pretty cold. And you can, you can even hear that, maybe, that bubbling. The crackle, the sizzle. The crackle, the yep. sizzle. It's actually freezing it very, very quickly. And so why don't you go ahead and dip in there with your... We look, look at this. So we're getting, we're starting to get some ice cream <laughs> yeah. here. Go ahead and churn that up a little bit. I'll okay. add a little bit more nitrogen. We're, okay. we're kind of like at soft serve sort of feel right, here. Can... We want to get it a little nicer. It's and, getting very in fact, rigid now. In fact, it probably gets too hard to even mix. Look at that. Very nice. So self serve ice cream right here, my friend. Self serve ice cream. Now, the important part here is that we need a, a taste tester oh. to see what this actually I'll tastes sign up. like. I'll sign up for that. So I got a bowl here for you. And uh, go ahead and grab your spoon there. Give a taste. Why is this acceptable to eat at this point? Well, the nitrogen is always boiling. So you're not ingesting any sort of liquid nitrogen. There may be a little nitrogen gas left inside. But what we've done is very cooled it down quickly. We've created tiny ice crystals, tiny ice crystals, which make really good creamy ice cream. You're not kidding. This is, <laughs> is really creamy, really good, cold, tastes exactly like ice cream, homemade. Exactly. If, if you were to do, do this at home and just put this mixture in your freezer and let it slowly cool down, you get the formation of large ice crystals. It's kind of like, you know, when you take the ice cream out and you dish them out, put it back in the freezer, dish it out, put it back in the freezer, dish it up. You do that over a week, it kind of has that kind of crummy taste after a while. Sure. You get those, that refreezing creates large ice crystals. The liquid nitrogen allows us to cool it quickly, forming tiny ice crystals, and of course the fat and sugar is always a, and this a teaches the kids a lot about science here. We're too. talking about states of matter. We're talking about things that are boiling that can be very, very cold. We're quickly freezing things, forming tiny ice crystals. There's a lot of cool science in here, and you get to eat it.
That's the best experiment right there. <laughs> the experiment you get to enjoy after, all while learning a little bit about science. Now, holiday weekend coming up here. You guys are going to take a little bit of break. We are. But people can enjoy experiments like this uh, almost any other time at the Imagination Station. You guys are going to be closed Saturday and Sunday, Sunday. of course, for the holidays. But uh, Open on Monday. Open on Monday, all week long. Yep. And you can check out the ice cream experiment, all other great things that are going on at the Imagination Station. So certainly drop by while the kids are, you know, mom and dad are going to be a little stressed out, maybe over the holiday season here, a good place to check it out. Carl? Yeah, we got lots of fun stuff going on. Come down we appreciate it, it. I'm going to enjoy some ice cream. I'm not even joking. <laughs> this is some good ice cream. I can tell you that. Cool. All right. If you could walk.